he was, you know, he was the figurehead of JGR. He, you know, still the things that he, you know, implemented and how he ran that race team. I, I remember flying home from a race. I actually was sitting next to him, and he was writing checks out to every nonprofit that would send him and ask him for something. He would, he just, he, he just kept writing checks. He always had a, you know, a good attitude about everything that he did uh, towards everybody. Very rarely did you see him without a smile on his face. How much JD's influence of just wanting to start a race team has had to today and the amount of success that that race team has had over the course of its years. The, the number one characteristic when, when I think about JD is, is uh, honorable. So J.D. Gibbs was a lot of things. He was the son of a Super Bowl winning coach. He was a force behind a race team. He was a husband. He was a dad. He was a friend. But even all of those titles don't properly describe who J.D. was, because if you knew J.D. or even met him briefly, you realized he was so very special. His death last month at the age of 49 hit the NASCAR community very hard. Lindsay Zarniak spoke with Joe Gibbs about his son, who was a driving force behind the creation of Joe Gibbs Racing. JD came out of school. He said, Dad, you know, I, I'd rather do something in racing than I would in football. We took off on just talking to people about it. And uh, Norm Miller was the second phone call we made. And uh, Norm was, says, now, who's your driver? I said, we don't have one. And he said, where's your race shop? And I went, we don't have one. And I tell that story because that's all we have is a sheet of paper with a dream on it. In, in 2005, when you guys won the first championship, you were back coaching in the NFL, and JD really right. led that group. Yeah. What did you see in him, him during that point? JD was, was mature, good common sense. He was a good businessman, I think, from that standpoint. And so, you know, I, I re felt real comfortable with JD being here. And so for four years, he pretty much ran the show. J.D. at our team meeting earlier this week, um, he got up and basically he said, I know that God has a plan. God puts us through things for a reason. When was the first time that you realized or that you thought that there might be something wrong? J.D. had ran the race team, spoke in public, but then we kind of started noticing that he just got quieter didn't dawn on us for a long time. Eventually, we kind of had a discussion one day there with Melissa, and we both said, gosh, I wonder if it could be something. How did you deal with that? I kept saying, we're going to find an answer, and he's going to get better. It was a long journey for JD. The disease was, it was a long time. And so we hurt so much for him, but uh, for me and so many people, we just enjoyed sitting with him, even though in a lot of cases towards the end, he couldn't talk back. I had mixed emotions the next morning when I woke up because I missed him so much. And yet I knew that he could eat a good meal Mm -hmm. go for a run, talk to his friends in heaven, whereas he couldn't hear. As I sit back now and I look at JD's life, I realized he was living it. And for me, I want to try and be more like JD. To be quite truthful, I can't wait someday I'm going to be a J.D. again. But what would you say is one lesson that you learned from J.D.? Yeah, I was roaring through life like all of us do. And, you know, I'm coaching and race teams. I got my kids, loved them to death. But I, I, didn't, I don't think I really understood the way he would just take time out. Disease had taken hold years prior, but J.D. had been masking his shortcomings in a variety of resourceful ways. He kept an old school day timer, and on the page just prior to our trip to the Mayo Clinic, he had pasted a yellow sticky note that read, remember to tell Melissa how much I love her.
you see his life being played out. And so many people, it's, you know, had an impact. And the reason why we want everybody to go to that jdgibbslegacy.com is because those stories are there. So JD's legacy, it's still going. JD's still here.